I've got this feeling I'm feeling you could be the one I see no reason Why I should ever let you go mm -hmm. Don't wanna wake up If I'm dreaming Because you know I can't get enough Of this feeling you're giving me Don't wanna wake up what are we going to do today? Clean up the basement. Yeah, do a huge toy declutter that is so needed before Christmas time, right? Mm -hmm. And before the baby comes. We're trying to do as much as we can to declutter and organize before little babe gets here. When do you think the baby's coming? Mm, at one o'clock or nine o'clock. One o'clock? One o'clock or nine o'clock. On what day? Mm. On the 21st. On the 21st? Mm -hmm. It's a good guess, babies. Do the 22nd. Do you think it's a boy or girl, Prezi? It's actually a girl. It's a girl? What do you think? Girl. You think it's a girl too? And mommy thinks it's a boy. I have been thinking it's a boy. We'll see though. We'll see when it comes out. Yup. <laughs> I hope the baby stays in there until December. Till December? Yeah. No, that's like you overdue. Too long. No overdue. Oh my gosh. This is a serious mess. It is a serious mess. Oh man. I'm definitely ready for a toy declutter and basement makeover. Are you ready? Such a mess. Oh my God. It was a family affair to kick off this toy declutter. Adam had taken out all of the baby gear to clean it off, and since it was bigger and heavier, he helped move all of that out of the way. But first thing we all needed to do was just put things away as much as possible before I could truly declutter and organize because there was just so much all over the floor. It was <laughs> a little bit overwhelming. And speaking of the baby, make sure you have all your notifications turned on because I'll be letting you know here on YouTube as soon as I go into labor and I'll be sharing the birth vlog, the gender reveal, name reveal, whenever it all happens. So make sure all your notifications are turned on. So wipe out all your teeth. Know that this has just been a really crazy time so while you're watching today if you have a prayer request let us know in the comments please this community is so full of love we're here to support you and just know you are never alone and if you are feeling like a lot in life right now just feels out of control I'm feeling the same exact way and cleaning and decluttering just always helps me so much. So I truly encourage you, clean with me, declutter with me, let's tackle our messes together, and we can turn this into a better day for all of us. We did decide to break down Landon's car PlayStation. It had been a while since he'd really put together and played with his car tracks. And this way we made a little more floor space. So let me know if anyone has tips for how to store your kids' car tracks besides just decluttering them and donating them. But I just feel like they're so awkward to store because some of the pieces can be a bit bulky. We ended up using the drawers in the bottom of the wall storage unit, but I feel like they take up so much space. So if you have any better ideas, please let me know. So wipe out all your
and the kids were seriously really helpful in picking stuff up and putting it back. I feel like they have been extra helpful lately. They just know things have been a little bit harder for me with my big belly. I get winded so quickly and just so tired. But Landon ended up helping a lot when it came to deciding how we should organize stuff in the wall storage unit which I'll have everything linked by the way in case you like any of the storage in our toy room basement play area. But I think it was really great to involve him in it if your kids are around that age, he's five. Because then a few days later, after everything was done, I heard him telling Presley like, no, you have to put those back in this cabinet. This is where it goes. So he really took ownership in helping to figure out where all of the toys go and now I'm keeping the toy room tidy. Next, I had to get all of the video game stuff cleaned up, but I could have organized this better, just being honest, but I was starting to feel tired this day, so I kind of just took everything, got it on the inside of the entertainment center, so it you know, looked nice and neat from the outside. <laughs> I did on this first day was to get these baskets organized on the floor. All right, it is day two of this extreme basement makeover that I'm trying really hard to do. I just can only do what I can these days, but let's go back downstairs. Prezi's napping right now. It was a little bit hard yesterday doing it with the kids because there was a lot that they were like, no, you can't get rid of that. So I'm gonna try to go down there by myself for a little, see if I can tackle things a little bit better. I kind of tried to group some stuff together that was in like these baskets and the shelf so I can put it back a little more organized. And I do love when I can completely empty a space and then organize what I have and then put everything back into groups. It just always turns out to be a much nicer looking end result. If you saw me do this in my extreme garage declutter and makeover video, it turned out so much better because I did this. 
and I feel like that I get rid of a lot more that way too because I don't put anything back that I do not need. So with this space, I ended up opening up pretty much all of the cubes besides a couple so that any new baby toys can go here or Christmas toys can get stored here as well. area just needed a good organize and tidy. Lando was my little helper and <laughs> put everything away and tidy it up. We did this during Presley's nap. But we also decided to move the art easel out of this space just to make it a little bit more spacious and change the setup a little bit down here. And again, here's where Landon really helped to decide how to organize things. I was teaching him how we should put things into groups so that it's easier to find what we're looking for. So we decided to do games and puzzle boxes on one shelf, then have a transportation shelf that has like the cars and trucks and helicopter, and then a music shelf. Let me know if you have any good ideas for these open shelves up top. I'm trying to figure out what would work best for this space. Now that everything has been decluttered and organized, I did use my Mrs. Meyers Peppermint Multi-Surface Spray to wipe everything down in here and give it a good dust.
Next, I wanted to vacuum everything because it's been on my nesting list that I would steam clean the carpets down here. I wanted it to be extra clean since I'm sure I will be bringing the baby down here while the kids are playing and doing lots of tummy time. And again, I was so tired. I actually ended up steam cleaning the next morning because seriously, this pregnancy has taught me just to listen to my body so much and do what I can, not beat myself up about it. And pregnant or not, with everything that's going on, I just want you to know that that's such a normal feeling. So if you've been beating yourself up because you can't get it all done in a day, I promise you that's okay. Just do what you can. You are amazing. You are so loved. I'm so happy that you're a part of this community. And it does not matter if it takes you one day or an entire week. Just keep trying. You're doing your best. You can do it. And we all just need to be really kind to ourselves right now because it is not easy. This is a marathon. So you have to give yourself whatever grace and whatever rest you need to keep going and finish the marathon, you know? And we're in this together, and you just, you matter so much. And I hope you know that I'm so glad that you're here. Be with you. And Adam was on assemble duty for me on this day, so. Uh, he put together a table and chair set that I'd gotten for down here. I actually had ordered this way back in early spring because I figured the kids would be having birthday parties with friends, especially like Landon. He had gone to all these other birthday parties with friends and we have this same table and chair set upstairs in our like dining room, homeschool room. And so this way I figured when they had parties, we would have a big long table for all the kids. But we obviously did not end up getting to have those birthday parties. So I just delayed having Adam put all of this together. But our kids really, they love to do crafts. And I feel like a lot of the stuff they play with now, like they sit at the table and play with. So I just wanted to make over this space. So he put it together so that I could finally finish the basement makeover. I'd also gotten this rainbow rug. I thought it was just so fun. It adds such like bright pops of color to this space. And since it's Christmas time, I had an extra string of rainbow lights. So I just added those to the top of the storage. Make it a little fun and festive down here too.
but here is the extreme basement makeover. I feel like I can finally breathe again now that all the toys are off the floor, that the carpets are finally deep cleaned. Everything has been decluttered and organized. It took a good bit to donate, but I do. I just, I feel so much better. So if you redo a space, make sure you tag me over on Instagram. I want to see the before and after and be able to share it to help motivate other people. And let me know how you like the end result of the basement makeover in the comments. I love you all so much. I will keep you posted on the baby. So make sure all of your notifications are turned on. Follow me on Instagram too. There's lots of exciting stuff to come. Thanks, loves. So